Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill in Deltaville, Virginia. We are aboard a Snowbird 73. She's an aluminum alloy boat, custom ordered by some experienced yachtsmen. They'd had sailboats, they'd had some Grand Banks trawlers, and for their final boat, they wanted to build a masterpiece. They sat down with Greg Marshall after interviewing several different naval architects, selected Greg to do the design, and had the boat built by Park Isle Marine, very famous for their Royal Passage Maker long-range cruising boats. This is a twin engine boat. It has a bow thruster, stern thruster, lots of cabins, four heads, sleeps eight, flybridge, just everything going on for it that really makes it a special boat. Looking forward to showing you around. Let's go take a look. Very easy to get aboard, true love. There is this large swim deck back here. It's almost a swim dock. Uh, this is the Marine 2000 synthetic material as the flooring on here, very comfortable, soft on your feet. One big rail, which can be positioned in either side or in the center. There are two built-in boxes back here. This is essentially your lazarette. I have freshwater components over here, hose and a swim ladder. The other side has the Glendinning shore power reel. When you come up, you come up a few stairs, you're gonna pass a hot and cold freshwater shower. And then you have about four foot of width on these steps. As you come into the cockpit or upper deck area here, you can see that there's a tall overhead, gives you protection in the rain or out of the sun, gives you shade. Freestanding furniture here, so nothing was built in. You can rearrange it any way you would like to. Forward here is a bar, ice maker, refrigerator. We are about five feet off the water right here, so very dry boat, very, very comfortable. The overhead extends all the way out, all the way forward. There is a boarding gate aft. Fuel fill center right here with Delta T air. Big windows in the salon that are opening to give you great ventilation and great visibility. Some built-in cleats. We're at the pilot house here. There's a door here for the pilot house. Built-in life ring protector. Another forward boarding gate. These boarding gates have a Marquip ladder that you can use to put down to a dock. And the foredeck is over 20 feet long. It's a huge foredeck up here, very comfortable. You have a anchor platform forward, two anchors ready to go coming to this horizontal windlass with a capstan on top, two Freeman hatches giving you access to the chain locker, and then you have shore power and water built in right here. This is very impressive. It all drains forward. There are three hatches in the deck. There are several fender holders built in. The visor carries forward the overhead to give you the uh, the pilot house some protection here. Very large dock box for dock lines or short power cords. As we come back aft, another boarding gate here. There's a swim ladder built in right here in a nice recess. The other door for the pilot house, so you can open those up. Another life ring, a couple more cleats, the big salon windows your port fuel tank station. You come back around to the cockpit. So you can actually do laps around here if you want to for exercise. Great deck, up high, protected, comfortable, wide. And from here, we would go into the salon through the double French doors. Come on into the salon. I love the visibility in this boat. There's the French doors aft with the full windows, opening windows on both sides. They give you an incredible view. This is all cherry wood, Magellite overhead. It's about six foot 10 headroom in here. There is a seven foot sofa on the port side, matching chairs on the starboard side, entertainment and stereo back aft on the starboard side. This is a custom high-low table that also has leaves that will fold out. As you come forward, there is a day head, very conveniently located here on the starboard side, a sink, a toilet, and half of the big window is frosted in there. So you have a good light, you have a great view from the top. As you come into the galley, Corian countertops, there are two L shapes here, double basin sink with a garbage disposal, overhead lockers, 15 drawers I counted in here, microwave oven, electric Miele cooktop, convection with a grill in the center, U-line refrigerator and U-line refrigerator drawers. So all of your refrigerations here, there's a top load freezer down in the laundry area. 
standing on cork flooring, which is very comfortable, great grip on your feet. Stairway here on the starboard side, you can go down to the accommodations, the forward cabins, or up to the flybridge. And as you transition forward, this is a little bar stool area here, so you can be talking to the chef, eating up here. There is a helm area on the starboard side, bench that folds down, so when you're not operating here, you have a tray area. And then up forward, sharp plot of radar, Maritron, bow thruster, stern thruster, jog lever, your engine controls, the helm, there's a footrest here, electronics, very good visibility all the way around. And there's a, a surface area here and a desk area to port. This really is a fantastic area. I can look around and I can see everything that I want to see. I love this area. You come up the stairway from the pilot house to get to this upper deck. There's a sliding hatch cover here, also a screen. So if you want to have that open and have some air ventilation come in, you go into screen mode. This is a great area for running the boat and for having the whole family up here. You have a forward facing bench. You have a stid bench helm chair, two person. All of your engine controls are up forward and electronics, bow thruster, stern thruster, stabilizers, engine controls, autopilot, two Maritron displays, compass, two VHF radios, depth sounder, chart plotter radar. We're standing on plastic, that synthetic teak type material. And then over here on the port side, Another forward facing bench. The overhead right here is a hard top with two hatches in it. And then working my way back aft, a dining area here, wonderful U shaped seating and a folding table that folds up. They've seated eight for dinner right here. The exercise equipment is stored here when we're underway. This does not convey with the boat. It's going to be kept by the owners that are keeping it in shape, but they will normally put that out to the beach area. Let me go show you that. This is the tower. Dumb waiter comes up there and come back to the beach. Big open space here. And then you have the dinghy deck, the boat deck back here with the Apex 15, Yamaha 50 horsepower outboard. This is all non-skid back here. And then the plastic here. These brackets are for some scooters, which are no longer part of the boat. But if you want to get some scooters, you can put them right in there. And then up forward, we have built-in storage locker here electric ice chest, another storage locker here. This one's very deep, goes way forward, and that's where they keep the more equipped ladder for boarding. You can see the towers up through here, up to the uh, antennas up on top. You have a fantastic view from anywhere up here. So this is a great place for underway when you're up in the forward part, when you're at anchor, relaxing out here with some chairs or some deck chairs up in there, or just kicking back or doing your exercising up here. So welcome to the upper deck, it's a great place to be. Come down the stairs from the galley area and you arrive at the lower level forward. There are two different areas for accommodations. This is the forward one. This room right here, the landing is a utility area. There is a top load freezer, melee clothes washer and dryer, storage for laundry soaps, a hanging locker back aft, and then the owner cabin is forward, guest cabin over here on the port side. I'll show you this over here. This is more of an office den with a sofa back here. This converts to a bunk. There is also a Pullman berth right here that will fold down. So if you can have two people sleeping in here, there is a desk right here. The chair is missing and there's a little stool down there and opening port light. They have this head right here, which is a toilet, freshwater toilet and a stall shower with a bifold. I'm standing on cork flooring, which is very innovative. It's really comfortable to stand on. And there's a locking system there with a lot of storage bins down below. All their spare parts are stored down below the floor here. Owner cabin, there's a door that closes this off for privacy. You come in to the owner head. Large shower, curved, freshwater toilet, vanity with mirrors, opening port light, and then coming back into the hallway. This cabinet right here has shelves in it for towels and, and that type of thing. And then you come in here now. The couple who built this boat were an older couple and they wanted to have sleep in the same room but not sleep in the same bed. So you have his and hers. They're three quarter berths, very comfortable, easy to sleep in. Opening port lights, two on each side. Good headroom in here. 
overhead hatches to give you more light and ventilation. And then there are three hanging lockers forward. These have a little bit of a hull curve to them and a custom uh, fold out hanger. This is all deep storage for shirts. Uh, and then this is another hanging locker here. There is storage underneath the beds. Again, I have the cork flooring. There's a little bit of an edge bound carpet here. And as I come back aft, you see the hallway here. And this covers the lower level. There's a stairway in the aft port corner of the salon that curves down and comes to this lower aft area. This is actually the guest stateroom. It's a family boat. The owners would sleep forward and then their grown kids would come in here and share this room. There's two big beds in one room. Big hanging locker over on the port side. Easy beds to get in and out of. You see a little bit of angle right here. Those are the steps from the cockpit coming up. And then there's a head over on the starboard side. Large freshwater toilet. Again, another big shower, sink with vanity. You also have, this is a, a pretty cool feature. Underneath this area is called the tiller flats and you can get to the rudder gear and tiller arms by removing this cabinetry. So good headroom, comfortable space, not a conventional layout. That's what they wanted. When you build your own boat and you spend the money and design it, you can do whatever you want. This could be converted to one big bunk. A lot of people like to have the owner cabin back aft but I would try it like this. It's worked pretty well for the last few years. Thanks, so let's go into the engine room next. This might be the most impressive room aboard True Love. The engine room is back aft, we're below the salon, so you come down the stairs that gives you access to that uh, cabin back aft. Here's the stairs coming down. There are two outback inverters back here, this is a 12 kW Northern Lights generator, 30 kW Northern Lights generator, some service panels back aft, and then two Scania engines. They're branded Yanmar, they're built by Scania. Easy access around, duplex Raycor fuel filters, ABT stabilizer reservoir over here, a Torrid 40 gallon stainless water tank, a Charles ISO transformer. Look at the size of this Village Marine water maker. You have a Maritron to give you all of your levels. There's electrical breakers over on the starboard side. Over here on this side, more breakers, a little diagram showing you your bilge pump locations, chill air conditioning compressors here, shore power isolation transformer. You can come back to this step over here. There's a raw water discharge manifold. Very rare to see that on a boat. We have a Fireboy fire suppression system. And then for air circulation, Delta T. Delta T provides all the cool air. The hatches are set up with lawn seal on them and they're framed with aluminum to get down below, to get into the through holes, to get to any of the servicing. An easy engine room to walk around in is about six foot four headroom. Plenty of elbow room for working around. Rails uh, on inboard on each side of the engine. No reason not to come down here and hang out and make sure that the boat's running in tip top shape. Very impressive engine room on True Love. Thank you for coming aboard the Snowbird 73 True Love with me. You know, they say that everybody's looking for True Love. If you've already found it, great. If you're still looking, here she is. True Love is really a very special boat. The aluminum construction is outstanding. The fit, the finish, you've had a chance to see all that by now. I'd love to get you on board so you can see it for yourself. We do that by appointment. You can get in touch with me by phone, email, or text. Please do that. We'd be happy to talk about the boat. And if you're interested, we'll get you aboard. Thanks for watching. I hope to hear from you soon. Hey, great to be underway again out on the water. Love it out here. Thank you very much for watching the video. We have a couple of things you can do. One thing is you can click the bell to get a reminder when we post the next video. We love it when you give us those thumbs up. And then you can subscribe by clicking the button below. Once you've seen a couple videos, you might also want to check out some of the other ones. So you can click on one of these videos on the side.
Thanks. We hope to have you come back here soon, and we'll be putting up more content shortly.